We just made these two holiday front porch decorations using a jigsaw and a cricket and our glow forge. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into the, the mood of the season. It's getting <laughs> chilly out. We know Christmas is coming. I see my neighbors have some lights up and this neighbor has got their tree up. So uh, we're gonna start with some festive fall front porch decor. We're gonna do two leaners. Yeah, so I know that you've seen some of our other, we just did a Merry Christmas sign not too long ago, mm -hmm. um, but we were marching around in the old Hobby Lobby looking for supplies the other day and saw this really cute leaning snowman. So we've added that to our list of projects for this holiday season. And Garrett was browsing online. He was actually on Pinterest looking for something I think and came across these cute little it's a stacked presents but it's 2d but it looks 3d yeah. so it's a really cool fake 3d because yeah. I wanted to redo the topiary that we did last year well a couple of years um, ago I think oh yeah, I like which was really ago. cute but it wasn't um, easy to store yeah. at all no, it wasn't practical apart. Yeah. To store. So uh, this one should be much easier to store. It's only three feet tall, should be able to lay in there on top of all of our Christmas boxes, but it'll look 3D, yeah. I think. So we'll we uh, hope, we hope it looks 3D. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna do some shading, use a little bit of wax, a little bit of light wax, a little bit of dark wax. Popping. <laughs> Project number one, our leaning snowman. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed a half inch piece of plywood. Well, half inch thick, two foot by four foot, little section we picked up. Some ribbon, some paint. Some vinyl, I'm gonna add his nose and eyes out of vinyl, a snowflake for his hat, and then the front of him is going to say welcome. And I'm gonna add that in this permanent Oracle 651 uh, matte black vinyl here. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna use a jigsaw and cut out a little shape that we drew on. That's about what a snowman looks like. Doesn't Great. Need, need to be perfect. I will tell you that I, when we talked about this project, I said, well, how are we gonna transfer the image of the snowman onto the board? He said, we're gonna draw it. And I was like, we don't draw, but he said, how do you draw a snowman? I even asked the girls, how do you draw a snowman? He was like, it's three circles, Kim, we can do it. So <clears throat> I'm here to tell you that he drew it. You can do it. <laughs> we just, we kind of kept him a little bit skinny because I don't want him to be a fat leaning signpost. I'm trying to still keep him in, yeah. in the theme of a vertical welcome sign. So he's got the larger bottom, but narrow. Yeah. and the midsection and the top and so it's like a a svelte snowman <laughs> who's thick in the bottom <laughs> he's 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 just tall not thick get that he's skinny at the bottom he's packed with snow down there i don't know i figure any shape of snowman is fine you've never seen a perfect snowman out yeah, in the wild yeah that, that's my point here is that i think this is a relatively easy one to just freehand out and and draw it's all about the accents on this one yes it's all about the accents <laughs> and we got a lot of questions does kim ever use the tools yes she does and she's using it today Again, I, I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys this. I only don't use the tools because I have to keep Carrot busy. He, I don't know if you've seen that he's a bit ADD. And so if you pick, give him the power tools, he stays busy, he stays focused on the project. Who knows what it'll be up to while I'm sawing this snowman to show you that I can use the power tools too. Oh, nothing, babe. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, that's what'll happen. He'll wander over there. Something will catch his attention over there.
right there. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? What? This is a little pointy. I think we can either, maybe we can just sand that and fix that. Yeah, give it a little sand. All right, look at that. Looking like a genuine snowman. <laughs> Not even cold. Pretty simple. I noticed the inside needs to be cut. I need to sand it a little bit. There you go. All right. So we decided to go with like a little one by two to make his hat pop a little bit, make it stand out, make it look like he's actually wearing a hat. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I think what you got is pretty good. Right there. Yeah. Step three. Now we paint. Ooh, first try. First tee. We're gonna use some crinoline for the body. And our country chic paint in licorice. For the hat. For the hat. For the win. Step four. Now we're gonna cut our vinyl. We're not <laughs> gonna karate chop our vinyl. We're gonna use the Cricut. I went into design space. I found a little snowman face. And now I'm just cutting each color of vinyl. Hit the flashing little Cricut button here. It's doing its thing. Step five, and now we assemble it. We're just gonna use some Gorilla Glue to put the hat on the top, and then uh, lay the vinyl down. That's, that's it. Easy as pie. It is a quick, easy project. Looks like it's more, more than it is, but that's pretty simple. Hitting it with uh, an inch and a quarter brad. The nail, not the guy. All right, I cut out some really cute little snowman eyes. So I'm just using this Orcal 651 permanent vinyl. Put it right on here. This is the same stuff they make decals on. Decals out of for your car windows. So should be with a coat of polyurethane. What I would advise, but we don't have time to do that right now, is to put your coat of polyacrylic on first and then yes. add your permanent vinyl on top. Mm -hmm. But because we're filming this all in one night, we're gonna go ahead and add this and then add the polyacrylic over top. I think it'll still last. It'll last the winter. <laughs> it'll last the winter and maybe a trip in the closet. <laughs> his name is, uh, uh-oh. What's his name? Shoot. Scott. No. Scott the snowman. No, 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 no. The snowman from Frozen. Um, Randolph, Rutabaga. All right, there is little eyes. There's three layers to these eyes, so I'm gonna do it one layer at a time. Olaf. No, Olaf. Is it Olaf? Is that the snowman's name? Yeah, Olaf, right? The snowman in Frozen. Olaf. <laughs> Doing a little vinyl layering. Look how easy it is. A little layer. It's just putting stickers on stickers on stickers. Those, those eyes definitely look like Scott the snowman. Scott, why is this? Scott the snowman eyes. I don't know, because I've never met a snowman named Scott. They're always frosty or Olaf. But can't you just have like a regular snowman name? It's like a dog. You've never heard. Have you ever met a dog named Scott? Have you ever met a dog named Scott? Are like you his name is are just you like focused here? Scott. Is that where his mouth goes? Can you stand back? Yeah, no. All right. Let me get in my chair. You don't have to get all the way up from here. <clears throat> <laughs> Looks good from here. Are you sure? Yeah, you want to come climb up here? Nope, see you late down now. He definitely looks like he's looking towards the heavens. He is so cute. I'm loving it. Did my particles fall from up there? And then I was formed into this beautiful... <laughs> my allergies are kicking in. I was giving him backstory. Sorry. He interrupted Scott's backstory. 
Is he Scott Bakula, the snowman? Does he do quantum leaps? Not happening. All right. All right, Scott, that's that it. A sparkly snowflake. That'd be great on his little hat. I'll have to figure that out. We'll try it again. All right. Oh, nope. Let me, I got one more little accent. Oh, his scarf. He's going to get cold without his scarf. So I'll get a little. Yeah. Give him a little some. Yeah, stay warm, Scott. Stay warm. I'll we'll figure out maybe a little something more to do with that. Look at, isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute? Here, let's throw it over his shoulder. Scott the snowman, it's a little sassy. Should I do it in a full on tie? Yeah, give him a full Windsor. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking good. Looking popping. Yeah, yeah, fix his collar. Yeah, that's so cute. There you go. <laughs> hey, Scott. Project number two. So this project, we're going to make um, the 3D stacked presents. And we're gonna use our Glowforge to make this one and we're gonna offer it in our store, kngmakeit.com. I got it right this time. Just in case you can't <laughs> cut it at home. Right, so if you feel like this little snowman is too much to cut out, we can offer you this one. It's already cut out for you, and all you have to do is paint it. But I will say, if you're looking for something to add to your little Christmas shopping list, this little jigsaw here is not that much. It's relatively cheap, and you can do a lot with it. A lot of our projects just with the jigsaw. You don't yeah. necessarily have to have the... Old pocket saw. Yeah, pocket saw. He's or, just handy. Or yeah. the nailer. Yeah. Um, you could do a lot of cutting, well, cutting wise, you yeah. could do a lot of cutting just with the jigsaw. So. Yeah, you can do almost all of our projects with a jigsaw. You could probably do this one if you're able to draw the packages out on the, on the board and cut it out with the jigsaw. We're going to go ahead and cut it out on the Glowforge, score it, give us our paint lines, and paint it up. And this is project number two. Step one, we're going to gather all of our materials. We just needed some quarter inch MDF. I have this a piece of long MDF. It's 18 inches by 48 inches. And then we need some paints and some paints. That's really it, right? That's it. MDF and paint. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. Kim found this cool little, it looked 3D, but it's not 3D stand thing on some website. And she said, I wanna make this. So I copied it. And yeah, I'm... he made it himself. He didn't copy their file. He actually took the picture that I saw and made the SVG for me because he's that good. I can't imagine. I told him I was very impressed with what he was able to pull off. But I said, if we can make this, I think it will look really cool. It'll look 3D, yeah. but it'll only be 2D. Now, anybody can do this. It's just drawing some lines in Illustrator and coloring the lines different colors. If you can use a pen tool or the line tool, you can make your own SVGs. It's not that hard. Let me know in a comment if you want me to do a video on how to make SVGs, how to create your own SVGs from scratch, or how to take a, a picture and make it an SVG. Yeah, I, we've talked about it lots of times, but I'm not sure if that's something you guys would want to see or not. But if you do, like you said, leave us a comment, let us know give a little vote and we could always make a how to make your own SVG video. Yep. So we're going to go get the Glowforge and cut this thing out and we'll meet you over there. Step three. Now we paint again, again. So we got all of our little pieces cut out. Let's see our ribbons. Our ribbons are like 3D. Yeah. Popping. Another ribbon. And we got all of our packages stacked. 
So I don't know if you can see from there. I'm not sure if you can really see the cutouts, but see, they already look 3D. That's so cool. Now we just need to paint them. Yep, now we're gonna paint them. Then we'll use a little white wax, a little dark wax, kind of give it some dimension. We're gonna use our Country Chic paints again. The reds will be in Devotion. The green is a really, this is a darker green. Yeah. This is fireworks. And then we'll have black and licorice. And the white is... Crinoline. Crinoline. Step four. Now we're gonna throw some wax down to try to make it look a little 3D, make it pop. We finished our painting and it looks great. We did a great job if I do say so myself, pat myself on the back. We worked really hard to make sure we had all these lines painted perfectly. Little tip, if you didn't see it in the fast forwarding, uh, painter's tape helped us get nice clean crisp lines. And then the other thing are these little round I hope you can see it. Let's see. Can you see it across here? No, there's no way for you to see it. <laughs> this is a round foam brush. It just has a little round end on it. It's nice and flat. That helped us do the circles. Um, so that's also a little tip. Here's where it gets fancy. So it still looks flat. It looks nice, but looks flat. It doesn't look 3D, it doesn't pop. So we're gonna use a little bit of light wax and a little bit of dark wax to try to make it look 3D. Yes, we haven't had an opportunity to show you our Country Chic wax here. Uh, this is the pearl wax and... This is the dark wax? Well, it doesn't say dark. This Can you the, tell them? It's antiquing wax. Antiquing wax. And this one, I have a smaller version of the white wax. So we're going to use the three of these to add some dimension to this 3D pre stacked presence look we've got here. Garrett's our artist, remember, so I'm gonna let him do this part and I'll help out where I can, but. Basically, everything on this side of the package is gonna get some dark wax and everything about right here is gonna get a little white wax. That's it. Right. I'm gonna use my fingers. Step five, and now we're gonna glue it all down with this little tiny remnants of Gorilla Contact glue. All right, we're gonna put it in the base. We're in, everything's still on. All right, great. Put this other piece back in here. We'll just use the Gorilla Tape. All right. What do you guys think? Does it look 3D? I think so. Well, I don't know. I'm not looking at it on the screen. What do you think? Does it look 3D? Does it come across on film? Looks pretty 3D to me. Yeah, I'd like to know what your perspective is when you watch the video. I mean, of course we'll watch it too. I'd like, But from here, it looks great. I mean, it really does look 3D, which is exactly what I saw from my inspiration photo and you pulled it off perfectly. I'm super impressed. Oh, thanks babe. <laughs> and then this little guy, how cute is he, right? Look at that cute little snowman face. And the perfect ribbon to make a scarf. I mean, that's all this is, is some fabric ribbon. Yeah. But it looks perfectly like a scarf. And you really uh, prove that you are the Sawsman. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. So remember what we said about that jigsaw. If you need a tool, that thing's what, like a hundred bucks, less than a hundred dollars? No, it's like 50 bucks, I think. I don't know, and no numbers. Oh, look at the time. <laughs> it's time to go. Uh, 
yeah, time to go. So uh, we'll see you guys next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And really, I, this Scott's the only option. So upside down. Yeah, upside down. Upside. It's like a snow cone. Whoa.